this is going to be a demo of another thing that would be useful for your vinyl projects. We have a GUI here, we were talking about it earlier. This is a grid, and I have pieces on this grid, and these pieces, when I pick them up, they're going to be able to snap into another spot in the grid. This can be useful for lots of games, can be modified in a number of different ways. So let's see if we can build this app today. So let's go to IntelliJ and make a new project. Project from Java. And let's call it the Snap to Grid Project. Okay, here's our snap to grid project. And let's get coding. So, first thing we need to do is start making a package. And let's call it the snap package. Inside there, let's, let's get going. It doesn't take much. We are going to make our fxml file, and it's going to be snap to grid and in that let's let's just make it super simple I am going to open it up in scene builder and in scene builder I want to replace this anchor pane and put in a border pane like I usually do and then in the middle only thing we need is a pane so, I don't want it to be this big. The pane itself is only 200 by 200, but the border pane is sized to be 600 by 400. So let's shrink it down to be the computed size, 200 by 200. Great, we can save those changes, go back to our project, and we now have our border pane with a pane in the middle. Okay. Second thing we want to make is that app. So let's make the snap to grid app class. And we are going to follow the pattern of going to our labs, back to the JavaFX, and copy paste. This is the boilerplate stuff to get going for our app. We need to just change this to be snap to grid app to match the name of the file. And we're going to change it to snap to grid over here. FXML. And let's test it out. Let's give ourselves more space to see as we code. And if we run this, we should be able to see our 200 by 200 pane show up. There it is. Great, that's where we want to be doing things. Okay, so let's get going with a controller next. Snap to get grid controller. Okay, so our controller here is going to be a nice controller if we, oh, it says I don't know what that is yet. Let's import the class, we're all good. Let's make a public void initialize method, we're all good. And let's make our pane connection next. We don't know what pane is yet, import that class, and we're ready to go. Okay, so this is something we have to do next. We go out here and say, hey, I want to make that my controller. Can't find it. We have to close Scene Builder and then open it up in Scene Builder again. And we should be able to find it this time. Yes, snap to grid controller. Perfect. If I click on that pane now, I can go over here in the code and find the ID for it, the pane. Perfect. 
save it. Don't forget to see your blue saving it. And now we're back over here and it is happy. It's ready, it's being used. Perfect. So first thing we wanna do, let's make the grid. Let's make that grid show up in the back. <clears throat> so for int i equals zero, i less than 200, i plus equals 40, j equals zero, j less than 200, j plus equals 40, I'm going to make some rectangles. I know it's a 200 by 200 grid, I'm gonna put the rectangles every 40 pixels, and let's make our rectangle. We want this to be a rectangle like this. And it's going to be R equals a new rectangle. And that rectangle is going to bring in I and J and 40 and 40. <clears throat> okay, to make them show up on the screen, we have to talk to the pain. And we have to say pain, go get your children add this really cool rectangle that we just made. Well, a rectangle needs to have some color to it. So we need to say, let's set your fill to be color this one dot white. And let's set your stroke to be color dot black. Okay, so let's try to run this. Can we see those rectangles show up on our screen? Yes, there they are. These are the grid spaces and our rectangles. Perfect. So right now in our code, these rectangles are added to the pane and they kind of disappear. And the second thing we see, these are hard-coded numbers in here. Let's, let's make this a little bit more abstract because we're gonna use these numbers in lots of places. So let's make some integer up here, size equals 200, number of spots, we're gonna make five, and private int square size equals the size divided by the spots. And notice 200 is here, this is gonna be the number 40, 200 divided by five, so we can start using square size and spots in a lot of places. Size, size, square size, square size, square size, square size. <clears throat> okay, this is going to be much more general. If I wanted to divide this into 10 spots, I wouldn't have to redo all the math. All I have to do is change that one number and I get a 10 by 10 grid out there instead of a five by five grid. Okay, so next thing we want to do is, well, we wanna get the pieces. We wanna put pieces on there and we're gonna make them out of circles, but to really do it nicely, to have them react and remember where they are, make it easy for us to do some moving and drawing, this is gonna be helpful for us later, maybe not so much in the demo, but we're going to make a piece class. <clears throat> and this piece class is going to keep track of the state of a piece for us. So things that it needs. A private X on the screen, a private Y on the screen, a private double radius. And let's keep track of your circle. Okay. Time for our constructor. And this one's gonna be straightforward. Double X, double Y, double radius, circle C, and this dot X equals X, this dot Y equals Y, this dot radius equals radius, and this dot c equals c. Great, that gives us our constructor. Okay, next, let's do some set and get methods. 
going to do public set x, public set y, set x. What else might we need here? Let's do a get method, public get y, public get x, and let's set the color. Now the color is inside of the circle, so we're going to get a color here. JavaFX version, I'll always pick that one. And we're going to say set C dot set fill of the color that we're given. So we change the color down there. Great. One more method for our model here. Public void draw. <clears throat> I want to make this circle show up on the screen. Well, I need to set the radius to radius. And I'm going to say set my translate x to be x and set my translate y to be y. <clears throat> okay, perfect. I have a piece that will keep track of an xy radius as they move and a circle. So back here in our controller, we can start to make a bunch of circles. We would probably want to put them inside an array list of pieces. Let's call it the pieces. Okay, so i equals zero, i less than, let's say five pieces, i plus plus. Let's go ahead and start making some pieces. a circle for us. Circle C equals new circle. We've got to set things up. Oh, this class doesn't know what circles are. Uh, C dot, let's set your fill to be green to start off. Oh, great. Set the stroke to be black. Great. Well, if we're going to make a piece here, it takes an x, a y, a radius, and a circle. We've got the circle. Let's make a radius here. Well, the radius, we want it to be a little bit smaller than the square size. So we're going to say square size divided by 3.0. Let's see how will we pick an x. I want an x value, and I'm going to make it based on math.random times the number of spots. Well, that's going to give me a number between 0 and 5 right now. Let's cast that to an integer instead of a double. It's too small. We want it to be 0 to 200, but we're trying to put them in their right spots. But if we multiply this by square size, and then to shift them, square size divided by 2, add in square size there, that should give us a spot circle that shows up in the right place. So now we have a radius x and a y, and <clears throat> let's add our piece to the array, pane, get the children, add the circle, and let's draw it. <clears throat> okay, let's see what happens. We've got circles now. Hopefully these circles show up on the screen. And it says, I don't know what you're doing in line 40. I don't have a pieces. Aha, no pointer exception. We declared it, but we never created it. So right here, pieces equals new array list of piece. Oh, 
close parenthesis. We've got nothing in there right now. And here we go. Great. We have our pieces. They are randomly placed. We can't do anything with them yet, but we've got our grid and we've got our pieces. <clears throat> okay, so next video, we will start to add the functionality of picking them up, moving them around, and dropping them. Okay.